Oh, there's a tank. Somebody picked up the bluegill, guys. There we go, fish on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nice fish. What's going on everybody? Nick from Cyclonate Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. Today's episode is an exciting one because we are heading to a brand new spillway. This is a spot that I have been eyeing on Google Earth for a very long time and today is going to be the day where we finally venture out to this new spillway and hopefully catch some big fish. We have just made it to the spillway and it looks a lot better than what I was expecting. Here's the lake, but there's actually water flowing down into the spillway and it looks relatively deep. So there's no telling what's living beneath the surface. I cannot wait to get started. On Google Earth, this spot looks nowhere near this deep. So I did not bring much bait. I actually only brought a couple options. I've got some night crawlers, and I brought an interesting bait that I thought might work, that being frozen waffles. So let's go ahead, get started, and see if there's anything living out there beneath the surface. Whenever fishing a new spot, I always like to start by using a night crawler to get a good idea of what's living beneath the surface. Let's go ahead and do just that and toss out this entire night crawler. All right, sling out the night crawler, guys. There we go, fish on. All right, first catch is some sort of hybrid sunfish. Now, if I was a big fish, I would be feeding on these guys, so let's go ahead and keep this guy for bait. All right, I've got a piece of that sunfish rigged up on my bigger rod. Let's toss it out there. Fish on. All right, fish number two is a bluegill. There is a seemingly vast population of small sunfish living beneath this spillway, and I was not having much luck with the night crawler, so let's go ahead and try tossing around this lure. Oh, there's a tank. Something picked up the bluegill, guys. Sling has this bait. Here we go. Oh, dang. Okay, that was a good sign. Unfortunately, it came off, but something actually went for this chunk of bluegill. So there are some larger predators out there. Let's get this bait back in the water. Guys, something picked up the bait. They're swimming off of it. There are a ton of snags, so let's go ahead and go for the hook set. There we go, fish on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh my gosh, you guys. We just caught a monster gar. We just caught a really nice gar living in this remote puddle of a spillway. This is crazy. I was not expecting there to be any fish of this size out there. I've had quite a few takes and I had a feeling that they were gar. So I went ahead, I downsized my hook and went with a gar tactic. And of course, shortly afterwards, we landed this beauty. What an awesome fish. See you later, buddy. Yes. After fishing here for quite some time, I was beginning to have my doubts as to whether or not there were any big fish living out there beneath the surface. So to say that I was surprised and excited to hook into that gar would be an understatement. That fish was incredible. And if he was living out there, who knows what else is living out there beneath the surface? I can't wait to find out. 
here is how I caught that gar. I'm using a float and then about 18 inches beneath that float, I've got a small mosquito hook with a little piece of sunfish. Now the mosquito hook is key because gar's mouths consist entirely of bone, making them incredibly difficult to hook, but you have a little bit better luck with using a small hook. So that is how I caught that guy. Let's go ahead and toss it back out there. There we go. Oh wow, you guys. Check out this sunfish I just caught on my ultralight. What a cool looking fish. See you later, buddy. That really cool sunfish was living directly beneath this waterfall and he picked up my little crappie jig suspended beneath a float. Let's go ahead and toss it back out there. Let's go ahead and try tossing out a piece of waffle. I have no idea how well this is going to stay on the hook. I have no idea how well this is going to stay on the hook, but let's give it a try. Well, first attempt with the waffle was a fail. I totally didn't think about the fact that it would float. So if I'm gonna use this, probably going to have to use some weights along with it. It has been a long time since I have caught a fish from this spillway. I think the fish living beneath it have caught on to my charade. And I do believe that that fish that we caught was the king of this spillway. I think it's time to go to a different spot. When traveling to a new fishing spot, I always like to have a plan B just in case things don't go great. And that is exactly why I brought this electric bike because my next fishing spot is a little bit down this bike trail, but hopefully there will be some fish there. I'm a rolling stone, found a wrong. Come on, or I'll be gone. Okay, guys, change of plans. I actually went all the way to that spot I was hoping to fish, and somebody was actually fishing there already. So I went ahead and I'm at a brand new location that I've never fished. It's actually where that spillway empties into the rest of the river. This looks like a promising fishing spot. It also looks like a popular fishing spot, but uh, who knows? Let's try here and hopefully catch some fish. This spot just is not working out and I do not have much daylight left. So we need to change up locations yet again. This is the original spot where I was planning on going if that first spillway did not work out. This is where someone was fishing, but they have since left. So let's go ahead and get some baits out there and not waste any time at all because the sun is setting as I speak. I just moved upstream from that spillway. Let's toss some baits out in this slack water. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Finally, finally caught another fish. It is nowhere near a monster, but it is a very special species. This is actually a mean mouth. This is a cross between a small mouth and I believe a spotted bass. Very cool fish. See you later, buddy. 
Fishing as a whole was not very good today at all, and that's probably putting it lightly because it was it was terrible. But having said that, I am still happy to have found that new spillway because that spot itself was loaded with fish. Unfortunately, most of those fish seem to be small little sunfish, but I am still stoked to have caught that really nice long nose gar living beneath its surface. So all in all, I still had a lot of fun today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd really appreciate it if a thumbs up, possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. I will catch you guys on the next one. Oh, that was close. Whew. Let's go ahead and try tossing out a piece of waffle. First attempt with the waffle was a fail. I totally didn't think about the fact that it would float.